We got Gary Linden over here. He's a local shaper, been shaping for a couple of years. Uh, I don't know, about two or three maybe. Just kidding. He'll tell you all about it, man. Gary, tell us about uh, what kind of boards you shape and what got you into shaping. Well, um, you know, I started shaping in 1967. We were riding longboards, and um, you know, the I was in Windy Sea Surf Club, and uh, Skip Fry brought a board back that McTavish had shaped. It was the first shortboard we saw, and you couldn't buy them, so I I started shaping one so I could ride one because I wanted to ride a shortboard, and just still trying to ride the best shortboards I can, so still make shortboards and try and push the envelope a little bit. Nice, man. Now, do you do what Rusty does and, you know, uh, push the tail design and uh, change it up? Are you, are you, are you pushing shaping or are you, are you just shaping for you and how you ride? Tell us about, like, how you shape. Well, I try it. You know, I shape for a bunch of people, you know, that, you know, have lesser or better skills than I do. And I, I like to be able to ride all the shapes that I make so that I can understand how each model that I make works and uh, and try and tune it into the person that going to end up getting it. Nice, nice. So uh, a couple people that you shape for, you shape for any uh, pro surfers, you shape for local dudes that are up and coming, uh, who, who are we talking about? Uh, well on the shortboards I've been working with Angelo Lozano from Puerto and, um, and the guns, uh, that one's for Carlos Burley, I've been shaping for Mark Healy and Twiggy Baker and um, Gabriel. Gabriel Vieran, uh, Ramon Navarro. Big waves. Yeah, some big, 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 big wave sports. That's the putting most of my professional uh, work towards big wave in the big wave tour and stuff. So, so for big waves, though, what, what's what's the key ingredients? Like, you know, say if somebody wanted to go try and make their own big gun, what are the key ingredients we got to make sure we pay attention to when shaping a big wave board? Well, I think the most important thing in uh, uh, any surfboard is uh, getting the right volume. And to catch a big wave, you need a lot of volume because you got to paddle fast and uh, you know get down the face. So um, you try and uh, get away from the concept of something that looks sleek and fast. You know, oh, that looks like a great gun. Well, that might not be a good gun. You know, it's just something that looks like maybe thick and pluggy. Probably catch you a few more waves. All right, all right, cool, cool. Now. Um when, when, when this whole shortboard revolution came in, all right, where were you in the forerunning of that? Were you, were you leading it? Were you riding some of the new stuff? Uh, what, what happened about that? Tell us about it. Well, like I told you when I started that, I saw one of the first shortboards that come to San Diego, and uh, I think I shaped the third shortboard in San Diego. It's nice. you know, just not going to you know, been pushing the shortboard and new way of surfing. Just that's what interests me. I'm not really too excited about just you know cruising and stuff. You know, want to want to go off. Nice, nice. So you trying you trying what these groms are doing now, man? These kids busting these huge airs and fat snaps where you 360 out of it, or I mean, does it just getting fast turns turn you on? Is that why you're riding the shortboard now? Yeah, I like the fast turns. I can't do any airs and stuff, and I don't know how to do. It. I try, I'd like to do that stuff, but I can't really. And but I like the fast turns, and I like to go fast and have a loose board and be maneuverable and get in the hook and get barreled and just exciting stuff. You know? It's definitely fun, man. It's yeah. definitely a whole new spectrum when you change over from longboards, man, because I never, I never did the whole transition from longboard to shortboard. I learned on a 510 quad fin, okay? Yeah. It was the old wave tools. You remember those things? Yeah. yeah. Had a super old wave tools, 510, super thick, hardly any rocker, and then I get up on a big board, and I'm like, I can't do the same things here. This is completely different, you yeah. know? So I actually went the other way from it, but I definitely, I'm right there with you. I love the fast turns and getting barreled it's definitely something good about that shortboard yeah. we, we, we definitely made a good movement there in the there 70s when we started changing over right on, yeah. all right man so the events of tonight uh, how you know what was what was the highlight of it? what was the, what was the, the key point that uh, somebody would have would have wanted to catch uh, just that the opportunity that all the shapers up here are really personable people that um, you know you go talk to them and you know have the experience of getting a custom board and just sharing uh, someone else's uh, knowledge and experience to your benefit. Absolutely, absolutely. It was absolutely advantageous and a key thing to have all these shapers over here talking to us about the stuff. Uh, Gary, great talking to you. Thank Thanks you, for Gary. hanging out, all man. Right. Enjoy the event. All right.